So here we have the Crocs Silhi Bembry Saru Clog Citrine. And uh, this one uh, I grabbed on sale actually. Um, it seems like they probably weren't selling that well and maybe released slightly later in the uh, summer season. Uh, but I managed to grab them for £30 and I think I paid like £5 or £6 for a delivery. So it's a bargain in my opinion because obviously, you know, they're sort of half price. Um, so, you know, so I'm quite happy sort of grabbing them pair at, at that price really. And it's a, a new silhouette from uh, Salahi Bembry and uh, Crocs for uh, 2024. And obviously it's made as a sort of lifestyle shoe, so this is you know one of those sort of recreational type wears and maybe sort of wearing around the house and just sort of out and about going to the shops. And it, will, and it has that sort of classic clog upper, so you can sort of see here it's got the gibbets uh, holes in there on the top and very much similar to a classic cro uh, Crocs type footwear. However the bottom half is signature uh, Stalehi Bembry. So with the details, it comes in a citrine colour, so this is almost like a, a muted yellow colour, going almost towards orange. Um, but you know, citrine is probably the right terminology for it. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, Salehi, Bambri and Crocs have some weird uh, colour name schemings, but I kind of like it. And it has a, a fused insole, so you can sort of see here, this insole is basically, uh, it's basically moulded to the overall uh, upper and lower half. So it's one of those ones that's using cross light uh, technology as well. And it's made up of all synthetic materials, so this is pretty much all rubber, I guess, TPU material. And the price on these are £70. So the comfort and sizing, I think these are on the medium side, maybe going towards the firm. On the um, insole, there isn't much give towards it. However, it feels quite sort of neutral on foot for that reason. But I will say it's on the firmer side, there isn't sort of a soft, squishy nature to it. But it does feel a little bit, I suppose, spongy, a little bit of uh, forgiveness. But other than that, it's probably more on the, the medium firm side. And these have good arch supports. You can probably see in here, like the overall sort of contour uh, to your foot. You can see like there's got some toe uh, marks at the front here as well, where you kind of supports your foot. And also hopefully you can see the arch there inside as well. So it's, you know, with Crocs footwear, they do kind of tend to do that. And it seems to be sort of universal that they use this type of pattern inside. And uh, it has sort of two to six hours, I suppose, for the materials to soften, because out of the box, it does feel quite sort of sturdy, and as you can sort of see, but the more you wear them, the more they kind of start to sort of break in. And I do recommend going a whole size down. I went a whole size down in these, and they fit fine. So this is, you know, I suppose if I was in an American size, it would be an eight, and this is a, a seven. So it works well for me. And for, I suppose, in terms of the grip, it's average grip. There's nothing special going on here. I wouldn't really bank on this, you know, to get uh, get you around in wet conditions. And even though it's quite sort of solid and quite, I suppose, bottom heavy, I don't know if it's one of those ones where, you know, you'd want to wear them in sort of extreme weather conditions. So with the look and style, I mean, this has got a sort of a loud colorway. What I did say is obviously it's more going towards the orangey type hue. And uh, I'd say it's more of a muted yellow. Um, so, you know, it's almost like if you were to sort of see a really ripe lemon, that's the kind of color it is. And it gives that sort of chunky look really. So this is a classic uh, clogs type piece of footwear. And again, sort of good one for sort of spring, summertime or wearing around the house really. And it's a, more of a casual wear type sneaker, depending on the colorway, because I've seen a few colorways out there, you know, like the gray one that released recently, it's like a stone gray color. Uh, so that one, you know, you could probably dress it up maybe towards a smart casual end, but these ones where they've got sort of these multi-colors, it takes, like I said, a certain kind of person to sort of pull that off. But, you know, wearing around the house, they're not too bad. And uh, the fact that they're laces as well, so it's like, a, you know, unlike the Salehi Bembry, you know, Pollock's clog that he's got, which had a strap on the back, um, this one doesn't. And it's, you know, obviously open at the, the bottom, which is obviously like a classic mule style uh, piece of footwear. Um, but... You know, saying that, I find this probably just a bit easier to wear than those uh, Pollock's original clock clogs that came out. So with the final thoughts, you know, it's got a funky design to it. And uh, it's also one of those ones where, you know, you're either a fan or you're not. And it's uh, laceless, so I kind of like that. You know, it's just easy to slip on, slip off, and you don't have the strap to worry about either. And they're lightweight as well. So even, like I said, they're pretty sort of bottom heavy. There's not that much weight on it. There's other sort of Crocs sneakers that I've seen that are probably heavier than these. Um, in terms of cons, the sizing consistencies, I mean, I recommend going a full size down, but you might sort of beg to differ. But, you know, obviously with Crocs stuff, it's, it can be sort of hit and miss, and most of the time you need to go size down. And I guess the silhouette isn't for everyone. You know, if you're kind of a fan of the way these upper Crocs look, 
then you'd probably be happy with a pair of these. But I'm kind of more, you know, on the sleigh Bembry side of design, so I prefer, you know, it being more in terms of, I suppose, a sleigh Bembry type uh, overall design and aesthetic. But this is using obviously the Crocs upper, so if you're a fan of that and you're a fan of putting gibbets on there, then obviously this is a winner. So the ratings, to give the look and style a 4 out of 5, I think it's a pretty cool uh, piece of footwear. And it's one of those ones where, you know, it takes a certain kind of person to wear them. I, you know, bought them on sale, so I'm quite happy with these. And the comfort, I'll give it a 3. I think, you know, it's the standard stuff. It's on the firmer side, nothing special, but at the same time, it's not going to be horrible on foot. Um, you know, you can pretty much wear these all day and still be good to go, but I wouldn't say they're soft and squishy. And the quality, I'll give that a 4. I think, you know, overall... It's uh, you know made very well in terms of its mould and obviously this bottom half is quite complicated to, to make for you know this fingerprint outsole. So overall you know it's pretty good you know at the end of the day it's a piece of plastic. And the pricing I give that a 4 as well. I think they're priced a little bit too high for what they are but obviously like sometimes you can pick them up and sell especially at the moment and they're on a sort of clearance so maybe it's worth grabbing a pair. And that's why I overall give the score a 4 out of 5. I think they're not as nice as the Pollux ones that came out uh, a couple of years ago. But it's still a cool, you know, piece of footwear to wear, especially if you're looking for the, the more of the mule style. We can kind of just slip them on and take them off quickly.